One year ago, Erling Haaland signed for Manchester City. And despite the meteoric rise he had in German football, some people were still doubting whether or not the giant Norwegian would replicate that insane goal record in the Premier League. Erling wouldn't just prove them wrong, but he would make them look like clowns. Because he would go on to break the most goals scored in a single season record in his first Premier League season. It was official. At 22 years old, Erling Haaland wasn't just the future of football, he was the now, scoring 52 goals in 53 appearances for Manchester City. Erling had not just disrespected the establishment, he had destroyed it. But how was this great striker created? Some said he was created in a factory as a robot, or a genetic freak in a laboratory. The reality is, Erling Haaland was born to score goals. Erling's genetic connection to football begins with his dad. He was a right back and a defensive midfielder who started his career for Bruna FK and then played for Nottingham Forest, Leeds and Man City. He spent 10 years in the Premier League. He scored 23 goals in 255 games, so he wasn't a goal scorer like Erling. He was more of a utility man, a guy who could slot in in different positions, was tough, durable, added a bit of mental strength into a side. In the summer of 2000, he would transfer to Manchester City for 2.5 million. But before that, he would have a very heated encounter with Manchester United legend Roy Keane. Back in 1997, Roy had gone down injured and Alfie standing over him told him, get up, stop faking it. Roy had actually snapped his cruciate knee ligament and was out for 12 months. Roy would never forget those words. Years later, Roy and Alfie would both be captains in a Manchester derby. They reluctantly shook hands before kickoff. And not long after that, Roy Keane inflicted one of the most violent football tackles in history. Roy targeted Alfie's knee and made damn sure that he left a mark. This tackle didn't officially end Alfie's career, but he never really recovered. And Alfie's career would never be the same. However, Erling's dad was not the only athlete in the family. His mother, was a track runner who competed in a heptathlon and was also a Norwegian champion. He was genetically coded to be an elite athlete. Even his great uncle, Arna Larsen Auckland, was Bruyne FK's biggest legend. He scored 129 goals in 280 appearances. Now, despite Erling's dad being a Premier League footballer, Erling grew up on a farm and had a very modest lifestyle. Erling was born 21st of July 2000 in Leeds, West Yorkshire, but he was raised in Norway because after his dad's injury, he ended up retiring and moving back home to Bruyne, Norway. He had a sister, Gabrielle, and a brother called Astor, who were both also tall, lean, blonde athletes. And in Norway, he would often play handball and learn the value of hard work living on a farm. He was always encouraged to play sport just like his dad did and they were very aware of the athletic ability Erling would have as he was always taller and bigger than most of the other kids. But he wasn't just an athlete, he would actually have a passion for music and at 16 he formed a group called the Flow Kings where he rapped about world peace. The guy's got bars, what can I say? So Erling's football career started with him playing as a winger but it was quickly discovered that he he had an eye for goal. Alf Bernstein was Haaland's manager for 12 years at Boyna FK, and he is thought to be the person who created the monster in Haaland. He said from day one, he was a natural goal scorer. He showed great winning mentality. He always smiled a lot and trained hard and scored all the time. And although one of Haaland's teammates at the time was quoted as saying that he didn't think that Haaland was particularly special on a technical level, his manager had said, that the level of self-confidence Haaland possessed from day one allowed him to continuously improve. It was said that he was very grumpy when he didn't score or touch the ball and actually had a bit of a temper. But off the pitch, he was warm, always funny and in a good mood and looked after his teammates. And although Haaland was tall, he wasn't the giant we know him to be now. That would happen at his next club, Mulder. 
Smolder is a small fishing town with about 30,000 people living there, quiet surroundings, and helped Haaland focus purely on football. He was actually coached by Manchester United legend Ole Gunnar Solskjaer while there, before Solskjaer would eventually leave to manage Manchester United. And at Manchester United, he would actually tell them about this guy, Erling Haaland, and that they need to sign him, and he was available for a small price. They didn't listen. A decision that would inevitably come back to haunt them. And at Mulder, he would completely change his diet to become the beast of an athlete we know him to be today, eating 6,000 calories a day. He would completely avoid alcohol, drink plenty of filtered water, and he would take his sleep very seriously, including late night massages to stay injury free. This was a man on a mission. And one of his biggest highlights at Mulder was scoring four goals away against Brand in just 21 minutes. This is where he became known for chasing the ball down, hungry for every opportunity at goal. He'd even wake up every morning listening to the Champions League anthem as his alarm sound. This guy was possessed. He was so focused that when his girlfriend at the time complained she didn't see him enough, he dumped her. You can't make the man choose between football and a woman. All in all, good decision, you'd have to say. I did the same thing last week. Holland would then move to Salzburg, where he would really announce himself as the young goal machine. <laughs> Now at this point, Haaland was getting the attention of the European elite clubs, but he was advised to take his career path slowly and not rush in signing for a huge club. He chose RB Salzburg. He signed for 8 million euros at 17 years old, but it would be a great place for him to learn more, get first team football, and even just a few months later, he scored nine goals in one game for Norway versus Honduras. And Salzburg coach Jesse Marsh would compare Haaland to Mbappe at the time and was actually ridiculed for it. But after Haaland's first season of 27 games, 29 goals and 7 assists, no one would be ridiculing Jesse Marsh. At least not until he would manage in the Premier League anyway. Haaland would score 10 goals in 8 Champions League games, including a first half hat-trick against Genk. Haaland would then make a big move to German giants Borussia Dortmund. The club, famous for their fans and being the challenger to Bayern Munich, would finally put the spotlight on the talent that was Erling Haaland. Signing for just 20 million euros, which for what he delivered was a steal. 89 games, 86 goals, 23 assists. And on his debut for Dortmund, he scored a hat-trick versus Osberg after being subbed on after 55 minutes. What a way to announce yourself. And he immediately would go viral for his funny but weird interviews. Whoa, we're close now. <laughs> and he did get a bit of a reputation for being a quirky character, going to a nightclub in a full Dortmund tracksuit. He also got thrown out of a club in similar circumstances in Oslo. As Holland's reputation grew as a top player in Europe, so did his rivalries, with Neymar and Mbappe mockingly performing Holland's famous celebration en masse following their Champions League last 16 victory over Dortmund. And while this was attempted to mock Holland, it simply showed that he mattered, especially to the other big names in football. And Holland's personality would continue to come out as he became the first player in Champions League history to reached 20 goals in only 14 games, celebrating in the face of the Sevilla goalkeeper after he tried to put him off of his penalty, pointing at the Wolfsburg fan in the crowd. She wasn't having any of it. And his Bundesliga stats for Dortmund were incredible. 67 games, 62 goals, 19 assists, including a very important last-minute winner against Dusseldorf to win 1-0 in the 95th minute. Unfortunately, he was never able to overcome Bayern Munich with Borussia Dortmund, but he would manage this later with Manchester City. And after choosing between football and women earlier in his life, Haaland would eventually get himself a girlfriend called Isabel, who was ironically a footballer for the women's team at Bruyne FK. Although she is also a part-time fashion student, which might explain some of these strange fashion choices Erling has made. Now, one of the most important people in Erling's life would be Mino Raiola, Erling's agent. Manchester City did it and they will have Erling Haaland here. We go. Raiola was the agent of many big stars in football, such as Latan Ibrahimovic and Paul Pogba. Mino was said to be at the heart of Erling's rise to fame, aiming to make Erling more than £1 million a week from a club. Mino was a friend and mentor of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who has a lot of similarities with the Norwegian striker. Mino thought very highly of himself when he talked about Zlatan's career, and he said, he plays because I make him play. Mino became famous in football for making incredibly high wage demands for his players. 
players. He wanted to make the absolute maximum for his footballers and himself. But Mino took credit for deciding on Haaland's move to Dortmund being the perfect place for his development. But later I would say that maybe we took it too slow because he was actually good enough to go to the biggest clubs at that point. And after a hugely successful time at Dortmund, now was the time for Erling Haaland to sign for the biggest club in the world. Or the club who had the most money. And that looked like it would either be Real Madrid or Manchester City. City had previously lost out on signing Harry Kane, so they would then devote all their attention to signing Erling Haaland. But City feared that Madrid already had the advantage in signing Haaland. In early 2022, City held a board meeting where top members presented a top secret plan that required a budget of £190 million. When asked what for, they were told a player. This really is some James Bond stuff, isn't it? This budget had been calculated to every penny considering wages, bonuses, bonuses, release clauses, agents fees, the lot. Mino Raiola would suggest that 75 million euros was the figure for the player's release clause at Dortmund. The true figure was said to be closer to 60 million euros. But Raiola would want commission for this deal to happen in the region of 40 million euros. Everyone wanted a piece of the pie. Nobody actually knows what the final figures paid to everyone involved were, whether that be Dortmund, his dad, his agent, Haaland himself. But the deal was done. Haaland's wages would be in the region of £400,000 a week for five years, putting him as the top earner at the club. But one of the biggest reasons for the signature on the contract was Pep Guardiola. Erling wanted to learn from one of the greatest managers in world football. However, Pep's contract was scheduled to run out only a year later, but Haaland was given assurances that Pep would be staying for a minimum of two more years. Incidentally, Mino Raiola, Erling's friend and agent, would tragically die just before this big transfer was confirmed. Upon signing for Man City, there was huge excitement among the City fans, but also some questions. Can he stay injury-free? How will he fit into the Premier League? Can he replicate those insane numbers he did in the Bundesliga, in the Premier League? And how will he cope with the passing style of Manchester City when he is so much more direct than other players Man City have had previously, such as Sergio Aguero? But make no mistake, he was signed to take Manchester City to the next level, to help them gain the one trophy that had so far eluded them. The UEFA Champions League. His first week in Manchester would see him photographed at a supermarket buying a giant bottle of ketchup. And with his old man's history against Manchester United and the whole Roy Keane story, he said early on, I cannot wait to play Manchester United. And when he did, he scored a hat-trick and got two assists in his first Manchester derby. Now that is how you announce yourself. Erling Haaland's first season at Manchester City was ridiculous. For 22 years old, this guy, who'd never played in the Premier League before, owned the Premier League. He broke so many records. Most goals in a single Premier League season at 35. Most goals in five Premier League appearances at nine. Most Premier League goals in August, nine. Fastest player to reach 10 Premier League goals, six games. First City player to score on a Premier League and Champions League debut. Youngest player to score 25 Champions League goals. First player to score in first four Premier League away games. Most goals in opening seven Premier League games, 11. First player in the Premier League to score three consecutive hat-tricks in home matches. Fastest player to score three Premier League hat-tricks, eight. Most goals in first eight Premier League games, 14. First player to have five goal involvements in a Manchester derby. First player to score in seven successive Premier League games for Manchester City. Fastest player to score 20 goals in a Premier League season, 14 games. First player to score 20 Premier League goals before January. Fastest player to reach 25 goals under Guardiola, 20 games. Most Premier League goals in a season under Guardiola. Fastest player to score four Premier League hat-tricks. Fastest player to score 25 Premier League goals. Most home goals in a single Premier League season. Most goals by a City player in a single Premier League campaign. Youngest player to score 30 goals in the Champions League. Most goals scored in all competitions by a Premier League player in a single season ever. Most goals by a Premier League player in a 38 game campaign. Most Champions League goals scored in a single season by a player at an English club. First top flight player to score 50 goals in a season since 1931. And last but not least, Erling Haaland won the treble with Manchester City securing the cup, the Premier League title and the UEFA Champions League trophy. Erling Haaland had led Manchester City to the promised land. They were now among the European elite clubs with a Champions League winner's medal. And this summer, 
He is turning 23 years old. Erling Haaland is already the undisputed king of goal scoring in the Premier League and he's just getting warmed up. <laughs> 